I'm Old North Specialist Dr. Jackson Crawford. Today, on my Patreon and Ko-Fi supported channel dedicated to Norse myth, language runes, etc., I just want to take a quick look at something that fascinates people today, but that has, as so often occurs, very, very little uh, information about it in our real Old Norse sources, and that is the cats of the goddess Freya, or Freya. Now, so often the details in our sources that fascinate people today are details that are passed over in Old Norse just immediately, right? Something is just mentioned and that's it. And that is the case with Freya's cats, which we know of only from Snorri Sturluson's Prose Edda. And there are two quotes which can fit on two lines of printed text. One is, in their hon fer, tho ekr hon kotum tveim, ok sitter i reid. So, and when she goes or travels, then she, she being Freya, then she drives two cats and sits in a chariot. So, sort of like Thor is reported to travel in a chariot pulled by his two goats, Tan Grisnir and Tan Gnjostr. Uh, Freya is reported as traveling in a chariot pulled by her two cats, although the cats are not named. And then at Baldur's funeral, Snorri says, when he's listing all of the visitors and how they got there, En heimdallareid hesti theim er guldtopper heitir en Freya kotun theim. So, and Heimdallar rode the horse named Guldtop and Freya her cats implying that she is doing some parallel action, right? So we have Heimdallr riding the horse. This makes it sound like she's riding the cats. Um, but if there's two of them, um, I don't know how to picture her riding them, right? Uh, she's sort of straddling two of them next to each other as she's sort of surfing on them with one foot on one and one foot on the other. Um, no further information is given. Um, you know, maybe we should understand them in this scene is pulling her chariot, although in the line right above that, it says that uh, uh, her brother, Freyr, travels in a chariot and uh, uses a different verb, uh, Aka, the same verb as is used in the first quotation about Freya, driving the chariot that's pulled by her cats. So that's it, their names aren't given. No information is given about what kind of cats they are. There is a popular notion going around right now. I've only heard this in the last few weeks, but I've been hearing it a lot about um, her chariot being pulled by lynxes. Now that's kind of cool. I mean, I like the image, but I feel like if it were lynx, they would use the word for lynx and not the word for domestic cat. All right. Although it's a neat image. Um, and whatever image you might find about this, I do think uh, something, you know, I'm always telling artists that I consult with is I think you're imagination is just as good if not better than the imagination of the people making the Norse myth websites or Wikipedia edits or or whatever you know people use Google as almost a spiritual advisor and just trust whatever pops up on their first search which is often something made up by somebody in the last 200 years or last 200 minutes rather than something traceable to our old Norse sources speaking of our old Norse sources um, let me give you a quick word from my friends at Partners at Grim Frost come back and tell to you just a little bit more about Freya just to round out this video point you to more stuff about her uh, now Freya's name is spelled in Old Norse F-R-E-Y-J-A. Now that is the spelling in the Roman alphabet, but keep in mind that our sources, the Eddas, are written in the Roman alphabet, they're not written in runes. Um, her name, uh, to my best recollection, 
is not found in any known runic inscription, but in younger Futh art, the alphabet actually used in the Viking Age, we would expect it to be spelled this way, with the same letter for the E and the A, because that E is produced by so-called I mutation or I umlaut from an old A. In Proto-Norse, back when Elder Futhark was still used, expect your name to be something like Frauju, spelled this way. So the way that you often see this name spelled on the internet in runes uh, has no historical validity because that rune set, the Elder Futhark, wasn't used for the language that's being represented there, which is Old Norse. Old Norse is a later language than Proto-Norse, the language written in the Elder Futhark rune alphabet. Now, whether Freya and Frigg are the same individual is a really vexed question. Uh, it seems like different poets or writers had different understandings of this. I have a whole video about that that I'll point you to. And I think probably the video in which I had the most to say about Freya and her role is actually my Valkyries video in which I discuss the possibility of looking at Freya as like head Valkyrie, which I think is uh, a, 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 an idea really strongly supported by the sources and kind of underappreciated in depictions of her. So check this out if you haven't yet. Check out my translation of the Poetic Edda, the main source for the myths, the Norse gods and heroes, so that you can make your own judgments about what's there and uh, you know, not just rely on what you find on Google, which, believe me, is often um, <laughs> impossible for me to understand the source of. Uh, you know, your, your imagination is as good as anybody else's, but our medieval source is much better than any modern person's uh, made up stuff. I would say. So for now, thank you, Patreon, Ko-Fi, Old Norse students, everybody buying my books and audiobooks. And uh, in the usual way, from beautiful Colorado on the tail end of uh, the eclipse up here in the high Rockies, I'm wishing you all the best.